this video is going to cover ePrescribe. Before we actually go into ePrescribe, in order to get started and have ePrescribe, you will need to contact our sales department at 1-877-882-7456 extension 1. You will be sent a form which you'll have to fill out and we'll take care of the registration process. Once you are registered, there's a couple different ways that you can access ePrescribe. Right now, I have the assessment tab open of the exam, and you'll notice that there's an ePrescribe button found to the right. This will go ahead and launch ePrescribe. You can also launch it through the health tab in either the patient profile or the exam. You have the medication sub tab as well as the ePrescribe button. You'll find the same button in the Allergies tab as well. Now if I launch ePrescribe, it is going to take me to the Manage Meds page. This is not where you're going to be prescribing the medication. This is where you're going to be adding any outside prescriptions. You'll have here the Add a Medication, so you can search for that medication name. Let's say that they're on Lisinopril. It's going to start to type in the information. I'm going to click on Find. Now, it didn't find the medication based off how I wrote it, so let me try and find that again. If I could spell it right. And then I'll go ahead and give you the options and the different forms that it comes in. You'll be able to select that. And then you can fill in the prescription if the patient knows that information. If they don't know that information though, you can just click on continue. Now notice here it just has a note that there's no allergy data. So you will notice throughout ePrescribe it may ask for that allergy information, which we'll touch base in in a, in a moment. Now in the Manage Meds page as well, you have your favorites list, so you can create a favorites list of medications. Below here, you'll have the list of medications that they're currently on, and you'll see that there are several actions here. You can modify the medication, you can stop it, or you can delete it altogether. Below you'll see a Show Medications History link, which will show you a list of inactive medications. So if you need to look at their history, you can do so through here. I'm just gonna kind of go over the top section here. This is just basic patient information, name, phone number, date of birth. The encounter today will allow you to just document that they had an encounter today or a visit today. You can also see any previous encounters from here as well. You can link a pharmacy to here, to the patient, also a formulary as well. To the right, you have a patient consent for medication history. So one of the great features of ePrescribe Doctor First is you can import their medication history. It is best practice to have that consent from the patient prior to importing that list. Now, if the provider would like to prescribe the uh, medication, you're going to click on the prescribe link here. If you don't have an allergy that's documented, it is going to prompt you to enter that information. You can either select from the drop down, these are common medication allergies, or you can search for that medication allergies. One thing that you'll notice in Doctor First is that it is only going to allow you to document medication allergies. This is for the drug drug and the drug allergy interaction checks that Dr. First has already enabled. I'm just going to click on no known drug allergies here. The next prompt you'll see is the pharmacy information. So once again you can either attach that pharmacy through here, the header of Dr. First, or you can add that information from here when you're trying to prescribe the medication you can search for that pharmacy by the following search criteria, of course the name, the state, city, address, phone number, zip code, and fax. Easiest way for me is I'm just going to add that zip code and I'm going to go ahead and find it. 
Mirrored is going to give you a list of pharmacies around that zip code and you can of course select the pharmacy that you want to attach to it. And notice that now it appears here. Once I've selected my allergy or indicate that there's no known allergies and selected my pharmacy, it's going to take me to the prescribe page. It's very similar to the management page. But however, from here, you'll notice that it's going to say prescribe a medication. You can, of course, type in the name of the medication and click on find or select from your favorites list. I'm just going to select one that I already have here. Before I click on use, below you will see that medication list again. You will have options to either renew it, you can also prescribe that medication, or you can stop it from here you will be able to see any pending prescriptions as well for that patient. Below you'll see their allergy list as well. Notice you do have the problems list here, but we do not import or export any problems in um, Dr. First or to My Vision Express. I'm going to click on Use. It is going to give me an alert here if there is any warnings. It'll just go ahead and tell you what that warning is. And you can, of course, provide a justification for prescribing that medication. I'm going to click on Prescribe Anyway. Now, since this was already in my favorites list, I was able to beforehand write the prescription. Now, if you ever want to just double check or there's something that you want to change on here, I'm going to click on Modify. And this is how you're going to prescribe the medication if you're not using the favorites list. So you'll see here the drug name, you have SIG here, you have the amount, the location of course, how many times, and when. You have the duration here. Now the duration will trigger the expiration date. You have the quantity, any refills, Direction to the pharmacist. If you want to type in any further um, directions, you can freehand that information here. Same applies to directions to the patient as well. Now I'm going to click continue. You do have the option to change the drug. Try that again. And you'll notice that it will give you warnings throughout the system. But since this is just demonstration purposes, I'm going to ignore it. Notice that you have the stop medication here. This will once again trigger the expiration date in both Dr. First and My Vision Express. You'll be able to review the medication here. Click OK. You can go back and modify it. You can cancel it all together. Notice that you can add this medication on the fly to your favorites list as well. Just going to click OK. Then it's going to take me back to the prescribe page. Now notice that now I have a pending prescription for this patient. Every physician who's going to be using Doctor First will need to enter a signature password. This password is typically your first name and RX. You do have several options here. Once you enter your password, you can send it to the pharmacy. You can send it to the pharmacy and print out the prescription. And you can print it without sending, and you can sign it without sending it or printing it. I'm just going to click on Sign Without Sending. Once you enter the password, notice that it's going to be in blue that it was signed. It will also tell you any other actions that was taken or if there was an error in trying to sign this prescription. Next section here I want to go over is the Manage Allergy section. This, was, this is another way that you can manage that allergy list. You can either document any common medication allergy or find that allergy here. You will also see over here any inactive allergies. If you receive a renewal request, you'll see it appear here, and then you'll be able to renew any medications that need that. Any pending prescriptions will be found here. You'll also, of course, see it when you click on the prescribe 
uh, page as well. MedHX will allow you to obtain and import medication history. When I click on the section here, you can obtain new data from either the past year, two years, 30, 90, or 180 days. And you'll click on that button, and then it'll give you a list of either medications that the patient is on. You can import that, or as it can say here, that there are none, there are no medications for this patient. Charles Darwin is fake, so that way, that's why he doesn't appear. You have an Rx report section here, which will allow you to obtain a report on medications. You do have a filter here, so you can either select the doctor if you have multiple doctors, select that particular patient or all patients, and of course any statuses. And then you can of course display that report. Options will give you several options. This will allow you to, uh, for example, create a favorites list for medications or create a favorites list for a pharmacy as well. So this is one of the other ways that you can create that favorites list. You can either, you can just search for the medication name, let's just say Zelatan for example, and you can select that medication and prescribe it how you typically would prescribe it and then you would click continue and you would save it onto your favorites list. As far as the pharmacy favorites list, I'll just click on pharmacy data here on the link under options and you can search for a pharmacy below you have the same search criteria so you can search by zip code, phone number, name, city, address, etc. and you have these links here to the right. Just by clicking on favor will automatically bring it to your favorites list and you'll see your favorites list already above here. You can, of course, unfavor it if it's no longer a favorite pharmacy. Also, for physicians, um, one of the options that you'll have here, which I don't have here in my setup, but as a pharmacy or as a provider, you'll have an option which will say manage provider agents. And provider agent will allow someone to write the prescription on your behalf. Any time that they write that prescription on your behalf, it is going to send you that prescription as a pending prescription, which you will have to sign off on. This is so that you can see what they're prescribing and it's your way of approving it. This medication is still being sent to the pharmacy and still being given to the patient, but at least you can always kind of audit what's been done. There are other reports here available as well. I won't go into too much depth into them, but you do have like a drug report which will show you what pa what drugs uh, patients are taking. Um, of course, you have a patient data audit here, so you can audit users, any kind of data type, and see what's been done with that user. You can see here stage one and stage two reports. To be honest with you, if you are participating with the meaningful use incentive, I would not use those two reports. I would just use the reports that are in our system. This will only cover anything that's related to medications or e-prescribe. You have a pharmacy report here, which will display the entire pharmacy uh, list for printing, and then provider agents reports. So you can see any provider agents that are under this person. Last but not least, you have return to My Vision Express, which will just allow you to return to My Vision Express. You'll notice that there is a window uh, that will pop up every 15 minutes when you enable Doctor First. If you would like to extend that the amount of time that it opens up, go to File Setup and Company, and you're going to go to System, the Systems tab. And to the right, you'll have just any additional, um, other additional settings. If you click on the ERX reminder time, you can always just extend that time. By default, it is going to say 15, though. As far as the window that appears, you can actually have it pull up by going to Tools, ePrescribe, and Notifications.
And you'll see here that the ERX uh, notification counts just shows you how many renewal requests, um, text, and error, text messages you don't have to worry about, any error messages, um, incomplete prescriptions, also prescriptions require, requiring a signature, um, dual signatures, dual verification, notifications requiring review. So this just kind of gives you a little pop-up of uh, mainly you'll be looking at the renewal requests, um, incomplete prescriptions, and prescriptions requiring a signature. You'll have access to ePrescribe by either clicking on either one of these buttons, which will go ahead and launch Doctor First for you. That's it for the ePrescribe video. If you have any questions, please um, give us a call at 1-877-882-7456, extension 3 for support. Also, please look at our knowledge base articles at support.myvisionexpress.com.